Johnson, and I'm 23 years old. But it's Sarah Harding, and I'm 26 years old. My name's Kylie Livington, and I'm 25 years old. Janita Dixon, and I'm 17. Michelle Jacobson, and I'm 20 years old. My name is Tony Karina. I'm 25 years young. And I had the best frappuccino ever. You know the caramel frappuccino where they have like the cream and they like sprinkle it on the top to die for. <laughs> so whenever I have a Starbucks, I get totally crazy and like I do things that I don't even remember that I'm doing. Anyway, so then me and my girls went down to this um, bar place. I don't know, something like um, I was chilling with one of my boys, you know, the usual. Having fun, having some liquor. Gets a phone call now, yeah? And, um, seeming a little bit uptight. We hopped in his car. So now me and my boys, yeah, we're like riding on like, I think it was like E Road or something like that, yeah? And then we like dust on there, because they're like, the tickets were just come on the bus, yeah? And I don't have no, I lost my Oyster card in it. I lost my Oyster card like about 17 weeks ago. I saw like that, yeah? Because like, I was like, Mom, can you give me some money to buy my Oyster card? And she was like, No. I was like, Well, guess, man, no EMA money. Do you know what I mean? So then like, I had to like, Go around here yeah, and look for something else to do. So I was gonna ride a bike here, yeah, but you can't ride a bike looking like me. So I was with my boys, yeah. And then some next friend was a concept to us. You know the man here? You know one person pan walk pan the shop. Say they wanna use the toilet. Me say no, sir, come from the shop. That's all I mean, remember. I'm sorry. I was at home. But then I had a bit of a problem, you see. Something was a bit wrong. I don't really want to tell you what it is, so I'm not going to, but I'm just saying I had a problem. Which meant I had to go to the pharmacist. Yes, it was 11 o'clock at night. Um, I was working at the place when it happened, and uh, I don't really know what to say. I mean, I didn't do anything wrong. But I don't want to be put in a position where I have to put someone up out. You know what I mean? It's, it's not fair. It's not fair in me because my life can be put at risk. Like in this place and this rude guy brushed past me with these uh, last season trainers on that I had seen like some hobo wearing in like the valley maybe like two years ago. And I was like, hello, you just brushed past me with my new outfit on. And then I, I just don't remember the rest because I was just so delirious because he ruined my look. I don't want to be that person that says something to everyone. Like, oh, there goes our Carly, she's got the big mouth. I want to tell you, but can you promise that I'd be okay if I don't say anything? I'm a ride and die chick. You see me? From the streets of Harlem and I ain't never gonna let nobody take my boys away. Well, I can't tell you much more than that. Just know that I have my KO and chicken and chips. I don't remember what he looked like. And that's all I'm going to say without my lawyer present. When is my lawyer coming? <laughs>